Dialogues with the Master by Paul Twitchell. The Spiritual Power, page 37. What is the cosmic power within you? Do you know or understand what it means? I rather doubt that hardly a man actually knows of what the spiritual power consists and how it works upon this plane. Now let me tell you this. The teachers of truth all teach us about the God power within. It has many names, God, universal power, the Christ power and others. They all agree upon this strange mystical power which flows through the myriad worlds and which man can control if he is aware of it. At the very beginning, I say this to you. The spiritual power is different. It is the highest power in God's whole creation. This power is that stream of God current flowing through you as one often thinks of it, but different from anything that you can't imagine in your mind. It is above and beyond any thought or conception of the belief of the teachers of occult science or truth. Let me try to define this power to you. It is this. It is the ancient power which man had in those days when this earth was inhabited by spiritual giants. The magnificent stream of God power flowing through those who really are imbued with the mighty deity of the highest plane. It is the actual contact with the source of the highest stream of God consciousness pouring out of the divine fountain head. Furthermore, only the Egg Master can awaken and bestow the power in a devotee. He can make channels for the power of any of his followers, any of all of them. It makes little difference to the Act Master. Now, when I tell you that the power is within you and extending all feasible help, the words should not be taken lightly. I do not bestow such words upon too many for it is well known what they might do with this power but if you recall that while sitting in my little place in the hindu kush mountains i told you these words you need not never again fear anything for I am with you always and yet power is always working through you you now begin to understand what was meant by such a statement for once I got this power for any of my devotees it gives them the greatest of spiritual strength understanding and discrimination look here i tell you this all devotees who receive the power for it takes a period of time between when the actual power is given and the body and mind of the devotee actually are fitted properly for the use of it as a channel if I have time, the devotee gradually is conditioned to accept this power, to work through him as one learns to control his body under the circumstances of accepting bolts of electricity. As in your case, when time was short and I had to condition you quickly, 
all sorts of trouble broke loose within you and you seemingly fought against everything and everybody and were often moody and deep depression and uncertain of yourself. It was only the period when the power was cleansing your body of all finiteness to make it fit as a channel which the master could use in his work. Now we get down to what the spiritual power actually is. It is the highest power working through the chiller to do the master's cause. The power comes from the master who uses the chiller for every possible reason for furthering his spiritual mission on earth. The devotee has surrounded himself completely to the master and let himself be of service. He is no longer his own but now works for the universal cause. He is what I call a conscience co-worker of the universe. He is at the call of the master even though most of the time he does not know consciously what he is doing nor why he has done certain things in his life. His world seems topsy-turvy at times and many things he does just do not make sense to him. Let me describe briefly what the cosmic power consists of in a scientific nature. It is the process by which the spiritual activity is progressing always from no activity to activity and back again. It is a perpetual progress and in this universe we can see it in all stages graphically spreading out in all its development. If I explain it from the earth plane, it will be easier to understand. Let us start with the ether, a term invented by scientists to describe the basis for observed activity and what is an all permeating substance existing in space and in solid ma matter alike, flowing through both with equal facility. Some mistakenly call it God. This is really disintegrated matter, often called the positive force, while as matter, it is the negative force, which when dissolved, returns to the ether. In order to understand the process of the cosmic power more clearly, let us start with the ether with the matter stuff, with those finally divided particles which can be divided no further, the atoms which are broken down into neutrons, electrons and protons. They fill all space and we call that area the sky, horizon, space or any other term that designates nothing. These particles are the essence of the egg power, that original pure current which flows out of the fountainhead of God from the highest plane of the cosmic world. Now, to get down to some basic facts about creation, when you think a strong thought, this causes a wire pool in the ethers within the aura, or perhaps outside the aura. If this process is generated from the superior beings in the world at the command of the Lord of the universe, then we actually can see a process of the whirling of the great spiral nebula in the heavens spinning, coiling upon itself, integrating, forming a mass of matter at its center. There are new universes in the process of creation constantly through this means of creating 
Thus we get somewhat into the ways of creation. Remember, all of God is the whole and it is thus hard to take portions of it or it and discuss it clearly. The spiritual power will start the creation of the wire pool within the individual. And this little spiral nebula goes out into space, touching another. And there, their two thoughts come together in harmony or otherwise. Thank you for listening. Who's that? 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 Who's that?